Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell, then click all. Thanks. Hi everyone, welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make these gorgeous thermal roses. And they are pretty simple to do. So let me show you what you need to get started. And here's a look at the items that you will need. You need a base gel, a no wipe top gel, an off-white gel polish, or you can use white. I think that the off-white gives it a more softer look. This is eggnog latte. And here is my all-time favorite thermal gel polish. This is by Lachette, and it's called Rosemantic, and it even smells like roses. I'm not sure if they still make this, but it came in a set where it had the gel polish, and then it had a regular polish. You will need a very fine liner brush, and you will also need a medium coarse buffing block and a fine buffing block. I use these buffers in between layers to give it a smooth glass-like finish. To start painting the rose, what I do is I make two little commas in the center of the nail, one going in one direction and one going in the opposite direction, then I flash cure three to five seconds. You will be flash curing a lot during this design. You just do it, like I said, three to five seconds only to hold the gel in place so that it doesn't run. I'm going to try to explain how I do this the best that I can. So you know I took two little commas and created the center of the rose, and at each end of the comma, there'll be a little opening. So right at those ends or openings of that comma, I wanna add the next two petals. Now, if you do have the gel run into the next petal, that can be cleaned up with a brush and some isopropyl alcohol. Every time you paint a petal, you will need to flash cure it. I think by now you can see the pattern that I'm following. Another thing to keep in mind too is that this is at this point kind of 3D, so it's not flat. And that is why I'm going to use the buffers, which you will see here soon. Here I am applying the second coat of gel polish, and as I do that, you can see the 3D of the rose because the gel polish is pulling down in between the petals, and I don't want that because I did several test nails and they were bumpy and lumpy, and it didn't look good at all. And I don't wanna file or buff the white gel polish after applying it because it's so soft, I would just buff it all off. So I came up with this method. Now's the time for me to use the medium coarse buffer and buff this until it's pretty smooth. I keep feeling it to see that it's smooth. And then once I get it to where I want it, I will graduate down to the fine buffer. Just look how much smoother and easier this last third layer of gel polish goes on. There is no little bumps or valleys or anything. It's nice and smooth. 
So I will finish applying this and cure it for 30 seconds and then we will apply the top coat and we'll be done.